friends, a blessed day to you all. Welcome to our daily reflection. From the Archdiocese of Port of Spain in the Caribbean, we invite you to join us now as we bring this transformative power of God's Word into our own reality at this time. Come, Spirit of Truth. Come, Holy Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke 10, 1-9. The Lord Jesus appointed 72 disciples whom he sent ahead of him in pairs to every town and place he intended to visit. He said to them, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no money bag, no sack, no sandals and greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him, but if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you, for the laborer deserves payment. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter and they welcome you, eat what is set before you, cure the sick in it, and say to them, The kingdom of God is at hand for you. Unconditional Love The harvest is rich and the laborers are few. It is not so much what we do But how we do it that matters greatly is a statement that has become popular in our efforts to build deep relationships. In today's Gospel, St. Luke relates how Jesus appoints 72 persons and sends them off in pairs ahead of him into the towns and villages he himself was to visit. It is clear from the instructions given to them that Jesus is about building relationships the hallmark of which must be life-giving. We too are appointed and sent out as parents, teachers, lawyers, doctors, whatever our vocation in life. Our task is to open ways for those with whom we work to meet God, and we do so in a spirit of love, trust, and humility. As we take up the challenge as laborers, where the harvest is rich, waiting to be reaped. Let us be mindful that we are called to be signs of hope and that we are to be alert and open to the new possibilities that will always arise. We bow our heads. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be a world without end. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May He come long upon you, remain with you, preserve you from that evil one, and grant you everlasting life. And the people of God say, Amen. Do have a blessed and pleasant day.